Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, the convening of this ministerial meeting on global food security is of utmost importance. It signals a willingness to unite and mobilize as the global community to respond to the urgent food security and nutrition needs of vulnerable people across the planet. There is no doubt that recent geopolitical developments have aggravated an already difficult situation. Your Excellencies, I represent the people of Pakistan. We possess the potential to not only meet our own food security needs, but to play our part to feed the people of our region and the world. Unfortunately, Pakistan has been unable to unlock its own agriculture and economic potential. We have suffered from the vestiges of colonialism, our own turbulent history, and constant quests to improve. Thousand Kashmiris have died in the past 30 years because they were denied the right given by the United Nations, the right for self-determination. 100,000 have died and 11,000 women have been raped. There are two human rights, United Nations human rights reports on this. The world hasn't done anything because India is a huge market, 1.2 billion people. Sadly, the material prevails over the human. But this has serious consequences. Again, I repeat, that's why I'm here. Look, what is going to happen when the curfew is lifted will be a bloodbath. The people will come out. There are 900,000 troops there. They haven't come to, as Narendra Modi says, he's done this to, for prosperity of Kashmir. This is supposed to be for the development. These 900,000 troops, what are they going to do when, the demo, when they come out? There'll be a bloodbath. Has he thought it through what happens then? Mr. President, has anyone thought that what happens when there is a bloodbath? What do you think the impact will have on people of Kashmir? What do you think they will think the way they have been boxed in, in their houses, treated like worse than animals? No rights. Thousands of all the political leadership have, has been arrested, taken out of Kashmir. Even those Kashmiri leaders who were pro-India have been taken out. 13,000 boys have been picked up and taken to God knows which destinations. So what do they think? What, what, what will the people of Kashmir do when they lift the curfew? They will be out in the streets. And what will these soldiers do? They will shoot them. They've already used pellet guns, blinded young boys. In the last six years, the, the five years, the oppression that has gone on in Kashmir. And so, Kashmiris will be further radicalized. Mr. President, there will be another Palwama. And guess what? India will blame us. They're already blaming us. They're saying this. all this is happening because of Pakistan. One of their... Uh, Defense minister said there are 500 terrorists lined up on the border to go in. Why would Pakistan send 500 terrorists when there are 900,000 troops? What impact are they going to make? What will they do? And why would? Don't we know that the moment there is some terrorist attack, all that will happen is there will be further cruelty and oppression of the people of Kashmir.